So, chat. You may know me as the man whose actual gender is actual corn, because apparently uh, you can't wear a corn suit on the internet uh, occasionally for money and not also believe that you are a real corn cob. This is true. <clears throat> uh, so uh, you know me uh, as a an honorary member of, of the... Um, uh, uh, I guess I get to go to Pride now, and you guys get to celebrate me. And as someone who gets to go to Pride um, uh, and be corn gender, because uh, you can't do anything on the internet without being it. Um, yep, nope, I'm part of it, Seculoid. Don't tell me no. Don't tell me no. I'm in now. I'm in now. Honorary. The LGBTC. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, corn. Uh, so as a member of that, um, it really bothered me when John Doyle just came out with his new brand new video. Uh, John Doyle, uh, has Texans reacting to pride month and he decided to put it out in July because why wouldn't he? Uh, so John Doyle is coming after us chat, all of us of which I am one, right? <clears throat> it's true. So uh, I'm not okay. The joke is that I am not that. I am a cishet person. I would never just 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 force myself. I would never 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 horn sh horn horn sh is it shoehorn shoehorn my I was gonna say horn shoe shoehorn my way into the LGBT community. I I am merely a supporter, and hopefully uh, uh, you view me as an ally uh, if I do a good job. So that's really all it is. And uh, John Doyle doesn't like you, and he doesn't like me for supporting you. So let's see what he has to say. I'm sure this is gonna be fine. What would you say? If I called you homophobic, <laughs> you would have your thoughts. That's just not my cup of tea. I could save her. Just kidding. Christ, I already saved her. That's the metric. Wait, Attended... wait, wait, wait. What's BDSM? Are you gay? Nah, hell no. Nah. Hell, hell no. Nah. <laughs> nah. Come on, find the gay gene. Put it right here. Put it right here. You can't do it. I don't know what any of that means. But I did... But I did definitely cringe. It made me feel icky. But that's good. Anyway, he moved out of his 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 parents' house. He moved down to Texas, um, and he's got some. <laughs> he's got a Clockwork Orange pop figure. Okay, all right. So let's see what uh, John Doyle's got going on. John, what's up? What's up? Oh, um, just the new Michael Knowles book. What's up? Okay, listen. You came down to Texas to make content, and you haven't put out a video in weeks. It's kind of gay. No, you're right. This is really bad. This is already really bad. Huh. Right, and that's the thing, too. I've been thinking... Wait, what'd you say? What? Texas content gay bro that's it that's literally it bro that's literally it John, i just want to know what's going on so i can help bro it doesn't even matter you did it you did it man you did it what about your date john you forgot your camera what what is happening did we go back to like 2005 youtube bits what, what? This, looks like, this looks like a vine. After act. Thanks for the 100 bitties. Someone from Texas. Uh, uh, Texas North. The way he wears his cowboy hat triggers me so much. Oh, no. I don't know. I, I'm, a, I'm a northerner. I don't know how things... ...isn't uh, copyrighted. Music in the video. Literally it is. He literally used just a Blink-182 song. Is this Blink-182? That's what I thought. It sounded Blink-182-y. All right. Well, note to note to the editor. Don't, don't do the Blink-182 song. Okay. We'll just go, we'll just silently... I don't know. We left without him. That's 
funny because he came out of the place where he you wouldn't think he would come from. Because people don't usually walk out from behind fences. Where did you just come from? Oh, I hate the Antichrist. Did you run all the way here? I hate the Antichrist. You I hate the Antichrist. Drove. Did you see the book I was reading? This video is sponsored by Bang Energy. No, it's not. We have sponsors, though. Uh, this doesn't even work. Let's go. What? Is what's the joke? What is the what is the joke that's happening? What's happening? Is he? This is just him saying "bro" at other men. Is that it? He slammed. He slammed the the energy drink down. You know. All right, gamers. Here we are. Cowboys at the stockyards. We're gonna to talk to Texans about Pride Month. Let's do it. Has John hung out with other men before? Like in a platonic way? Is this a thing that he has not had before? Like he grew his first beard and suddenly he's like, yeah, bro. <laughs> like what? I don't like talking to women. One of them has an earring. <laughs> How's it going? YouTube video? Yeah, do you want to talk to us? Do you know what we just got done with? What? We just got done with Pride Month. You know about Pride Month? You he knows know. about Pride Month. No, 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 no. I just want to show you some photographs. I want to get an authentic reaction. All right. Okay, first photograph. What's your thoughts? First fo first photograph. What what are your thoughts? You know what my first thought was? <laughs> this baby has made this mom exhausted and this hair is a lot and that's it. The literally first thing I thought was ba not worth having babies. Literally not worth having babies. She would have had so much more fun doing this without the baby. Just tossing that out there. That's that's my that's my initial thought. I got pride. Okay, all right. Let's 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 take it up a notch. Aquaman. That was my initial. Just just Aquaman. They got pride. Uh -oh. Your thoughts? That's just not my cup. My thought. That's a child. This is just a child. Is this pride related? What's with? This just looks like a pageant kid. Is this pride related? What is this? Is this anything? Rubla, thanks you want to Katrina. Is that a pageant? Just a pageant. Okay. You held back. I could tell you held back. It's all right. Hey, I'm not the position to do that. I'm a school teacher. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'm a school teacher. So I'm gonna blur that guy's face out because he told us he was a school teacher. But think about that. The American male is in, in such a state where... The American male is in such a state. The American male is in such a state that he can't even be a homophobe while being a school teacher no more. And gosh dang it, I want to be a homophobe while I'm being a school teacher. You know why school teachers can't be homophobes? Because they might have gay students, John. You know what I also can't be as a school teacher? A flaming fucking lefty. I probably couldn't do this job and also be a school teacher. Surprise. It may have something to do with how much cum happens on this on this here channel. Well, that makes it sound like we cum a lot. On, I mean, we, we might. I just say it a lot. I say cum regularly on this channel. And that might be like the number one reason why I can't be a school teacher right now. You know what I mean? I mean a little grace period. We do talk about and corn, obviously, which is basically you mix the two. That's just elote. That's true. Thought you meant to on the outfit. No, I've never come on this outfit today. He knows that what he's talking about. He knows that what he's looking at is uh, maybe a little bit, a little bit weird. We'll say, but he doesn't feel as though he's in a position to talk about it. Even though you know we come up, we've got the cowboy hats, we've got the cacti shirt. We're allies. We're his greatest ally. But he doesn't feel as though he can talk 
to normal average people about what's going on in the media. Why is that? Well, because we put a camera in his face. I mean, they kind of invited it, but still, it's like, what kind of society do we live in to where now we can show- Does he have two phones? People, images Why of children being phones? sexualized, and they don't even- Wait, when, wait, wait, what? When were children being sexualized? Wait, when were the p children being sexualized in those three pictures that we saw? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he show that guy s sexualized children and he showed us something else? I don't know what's happening here. This is a, this uh, this uh, this video has strange energy. I feel like they can comment on it if it's going to be says on the desperate public for record. views like Very doing scary. man on the street content after being a video Let's essay see what Andy other for so long. have to say transition. I feel like if God is in it then it's good and I feel like a lot of those things hold all evil so yeah. I don't really support it. Okay. But Myself, I love gay people. We love gay people too. So, We're big gay people fans but when it and respecters. Comes to like mass productions of like human psyche, trying to reach the media, trying to reach us on all these platforms, especially children. Yeah. I definitely feel like what? there's some dark energy. Why do you think it always focuses dark? towards children? Like it always starts. What? What? What always focuses on children? What are we talking about? Most people. Most people's opinion in this channel is kids are shit. No one wants no one wants kids. And some of you have kids. And even some of you with kids silently are like, man, that is should have pulled out. You know what I mean? Kids kids are trash. Kids are kids are a big bummer, dude. You ever tried to smoke weed all day with a kid around? Not ideal. Real real buzzkill. With with adults and things like that, but it always ends up towards children. It's it's always the Republicans bringing up kids. You're right. I I don't, I, we, you know, we're in leftist spaces a lot. Uh, I, we don't talk about kids like fucking ever. Children are impressionable. Uh, They're redolent naive. thought, redolent True. thought. Okay. Well, sure. are you from one, Texas? Yeah. From Dallas. Okay, we're from Fort. Well, we just moved to Fort Worth from Michigan okay. about four Whoa. months ago. It's a big change. Big change. Well, the politics weren't exactly that good up in Michigan. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's actually <laughs> that's the politics weren't that good in Michigan. You know what I fucking need? This is interesting. This is an interesting thing. So, um, in Michigan, where I live, which is where John used to live, which is why it's so funny. Um, uh, he definitely, by the way, moved to Fort Worth to avoid me finding him working at a subway. Uh, Yowers, thanks for following, and that's a fact. Uh, he can deny it all he wants, but he was worried that I was going to come there and order uh, uh, several chicken teriyaki sandwiches um, and make him make each one of them. And then tell them that I didn't want them and that I wanted a refund after he made them wrong. Um, but anyway, so we moved down to Fort Worth. Uh, and he said the politics are bad in Michigan. Which I'm assuming here with this guy, they're just talking about like, uh, 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 oh, I don't like wearing masks. And I don't like Gretchen Whitmer. But like, but like, I don't have to wear a mask when I go out in public. We do sometimes just because you can still catch COVID from people. Uh, but we're vaccinated. I'm sure these people are not, and they'll die. That's okay. Um, uh, Gretchen, by the way, did a fantastic job during COVID. Uh, Michigan was in the top ten in economy, uh, uh, like uh, uh, like spending and stuff. Um, uh, not not government spending, but people spending money in the in the state. Uh, top ten during COVID. Uh, we were able to go on vacation last year. We went to the beach uh, and spent a week in a ca cabin and shit. It was great. Uh, we wore masks everywhere. We went out and ate. It was fine. Everyone just wore masks. And when we were together and when we sat down at tables and were separated by people, we were not wearing masks. And that was it. That was the whole thing. Everyone was fine. We had a great time. Uh, I also have legal weed in Michigan. I don't know why you wouldn't want that. Um, so I just, I guess I just like freedom. I guess I like more freedom, dude. That's it. Didn't people try to kill her? Oh yeah, yeah. There were several plots to try to kill the uh, the 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 governor uh, because these people are are hinged and fine. That's actually why we're down here. We wanted to ask you because you look like you probably have an opinion on this. You know, last month we just got done with with Pride Month. Curious to get what your thoughts were on that and what you think about how it's promoted yeah, in the I'm media. A, I'm okay with it. It's just, it's just the other stuff that goes on. Yeah. I'm okay with it. It's the other stuff that goes on. Yeah. The, the, the destruction of property. That's the, one. the destruction of property at Pride. Do you mind if we show you a couple pictures of some of the stuff that they were promoting and just kind of get your thoughts on it? Well, what we have stuff? Seven o'clock reservation. All right, I don't want to hold you then, but I appreciate well, your well, time. Okay. Thank you guys. This is great content, John. 
the utter state of the boomer. They are showing this to your children. They are molding their brains. Oh, hot damn, I just care about my property rights. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> ah. So he disagrees with that guy about him saying property rights are important, which is a right-wing talking point, but he's mad because John wanted to ta talk about the gays. I cannot believe John uploaded the first five minutes of this video so far. Like, the first five of this hit the cutting room floor. No good content is happening here. Okay. Huh. All right. Good guy, good guy. Well, I, I just want to know what the Texan opinion on last month was. You know, last month was Pride Month. We were having parades. We were celebrating the LGBT community. We were, you know, on full display with all sorts of weird BDSM. Uh, excuse me, I shouldn't say weird. Uh, prideful BDSM stuff at, at parades that were being attended. Wait, wait, wait. What's BDSM? I love that question. That is when... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, how would you even describe that, Blake? Uh, I mean, essentially, it's when homosexuals and those similar torture themselves with leather and chains and whips and do it in public so the children can like see. Like 50... <laughs> BDSM is when the homosexuals torture themselves with leather in front of children in the streets during Pride. I'm not going to correct that. That is an accurate... Uh, that was an accurate uh, appraisal of BDSM. He nailed it. Don't look up what BDSM is. You'll be very disappointed in the in the in in the definition. Uh, Winter O'Hare, thanks for the twenty five months. That <laughs> straight BDSM is not a thing. No, I have never, I have never engaged in such activities and never would. Chat, I never would. I would never tie you up. I would never do that. Chat, I would never ever tie you up. Okay. I would never spank your little tushies ever. I would never do it. It's never going to happen. Chat, you will never be my little slut. That's never going to happen, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a bottom chat. He <laughs> shades of gray. Oh. In public. Right. Okay. And it's actually, it was ar argued in legitimate publications such as the Washington Post and opinion articles that that should be promoted at these pride events so that children have a proper education as to what being gay is actually all about. You look like a mother, am I wrong? You are not wrong. The mama bear instinct is kicking in. What are your thoughts? <laughs> that were, those are my thoughts on, on the topic, John, personally. That's, that's. It's what I have in mind. That's just my that's just my two cents. My jaw set like that. Yeah. Well, first of all, I think anything that has to do with teaching children about sexuality happens in the home and happens in the home. A Texan would want to teach children about sexuality in the home, wouldn't they? But ooch. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh tie me to the Washington Post toilet. Oh no. Oh no. Never gonna tie private. you up, no. never gonna strap you down, never gonna go to town and hurt you. That's true. Care what you do and how you do it, but keep it private and keep respect private. other people's sense of morality. Sense of morality. Or, or, and I'm just tossing that out there, baby. We could crack open every, okay, everybody, class. Crack open your Constitution of the United States to the first page, okay? Your Constitution of the United States, just crack it open to the first page. All right? And then and then I, skip to the Bill of Rights. Where'd I put those? Where'd I fucking put those? <laughs> They're in the amendments. Why did I do that? Amendment number one. Well, shit. I guess I can tell people how I want to fuck in my freedom of speech clause. I could peaceably assemble in my full-on cob gear. Well, goodness. Sorry, I guess, I, I guess I'm an anti-American, anti-constitutionalist now. Since I don't want the, pi the, the people showing, showing, showing their, their, their BDSM gear... 
uh, at a pride parade, which is not what pride is, but that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. There might be some of that. There's not only that. Very well articulated. I can tell you're a radio personality. <laughs> Blake, show her the pictures. Yes, ma'am. First thing that comes to your mind. Um... Do you know what that is? I have no idea. There was a music video shot, and the concept of the music video was there's a, an African-American rapper who is homosexual, and the concept of the video was, I'm going to embrace this, descend into hell, yep. have sex with Satan, to really just show all the, those uptight prudes that it's, it's totally okay. And th that's part of the music video. This was went viral on YouTube, and uh, that was shown to millions of children throughout the world. Yeah, specifically children. Lil Nas, Lil Nas X wrote Montero with children in mind. That's true. It was just children. No adult saw it. In fact, we were we were actually surprised as adults to f to see it because it was just kid content. It was actually on YouTube Kids. Uh, uh, it was uh, you know a lot of Minecraft uh, videos were were associated with it. It was just sick sick stuff. So glad John Boy moved to the Fort Worth and not San Antonio. You have enough dum dums. Uh, well, it's the same thing, isn't it? Well, first of all, if children saw that, parents, you need to be doing a better He kills Satan in the video. No, 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 but who cares? Their job of watching what your children are exposed to because you... Don't you love... You know what I fucking love? You know what I absolutely love? The party of personal responsibility. Man, they're great. They're so great. The party of personal responsibility. Aren't they great? Personally responsible. Maybe I'm personally responsible for fucking Satan in his butt. You ever think about that? You are the boss. They are the child until they're 18. So, and uh, for this gentleman that I'm watching. You know What's wrong with this? Why do we not like this? This is fine. Is this gay? Is this technically gay? I know that he is gay. I know he is a gay man. But what is gay about all these butterflies? Who gives a shit? Like, is this sexually suggestive even? Is it because his nippy nip is out? Is it because his other nippy nip is out? I actually don't know what this is at all. Like, what is... Like, why show this picture as an example of degeneracy? You know what I mean? At least he was entering Satan's anus in that other one. At least I think that was the point, right? He wasn't just grinding, right? He was going to fuck Satan, right? A top. We like a top. You know what? To each his own. And what I would say is, bless his heart. I'll pray for him. What about when they bring children into it and they dress them up and they like drag? What do you mean they bring children into it? This is pageant shit, isn't it? What's what is what is is this a boy? Is he mad because this might be a may, might be a boy child in makeup? Oh no, not a fucking drag kid. If a child wears, I, I'm, I'm going to assume, I have no idea, but I'm assuming he, I don't think this kid is trans. Maybe, maybe they are. I have no clue. I think he thinks this is drag though, cause the way he described that. So this would be, a, this would be a, a boy, man, child, a man, boy, mouse bar. Thanks for following. And a man, boy, uh, uh, you can't wear a pretty clothing like this unless you are a, a girl woman. That's true. Queens and they dye their hair and put on makeup. That's a little boy. Oh, okay. See, I was right. What I would say is, where's that little child's mom and dad? It's so true. It's so so true. Who cares? I don't understand. Why do we wait? I'm really genuinely. I don't know what the like. What's the like? What's the bad outcome of a kid wearing like like? Okay, a, a, a boy wearing uh, wearing feminine clothing. Like, what's the what's the what's the like the whole like? Let's let's run through that. What's the problem? So so little Benny wears a dress, and then what? This might come as a shock to you, chat. As a child, I thought dressing up as different things was fun. <laughs> Check this shit out. Check this shit out. I once dressed up as, and this is not a joke, motherfucking Spider-Man, dude. Spider-Man. <laughs> and so, of course, now I now I think I can walk on walls and shoot webs. When really, actually, it's just ropes. Rope gang. If you know, you know. Oh, so true. And so, even Mom and Dad, we need to be doing a better job with our children. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. God damn it, Doyle. Are you doing a fucking ad for something?
Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip on past that. It's a trend that I actually predicted before this. It wasn't recorded. Many of my best predictions aren't. But I'm still bathing in vindication as I always am. People always ask me, John, does it ever get boring being correct all of the time? It actually does. It's, it's almost parallel to that one Twilight Zone where the guy loved to read and then he wakes up, he's in the library, every book ever, and then he drops his glasses and he breaks his glasses. It's the same thing. It's like I am deprived of the excitement that, that is inherent to the possibility of being incorrect. It's a game for everybody else. Let the chips fall where they may. The coin toss. I don't have that luxury because I'm always correct. So you guys benefit, but I'm kind of, you know, I get bored. I get bored. That prediction was He's just so fucking cool, dude. Oh, fuck. John, what a cool fucking guy, bro. My best predictions are recorded, therefore, are, are not recorded, therefore you don't know if I made them, yes. Basically as follows. We go down to a nice little wholesome Texan community here, a nice little right. tourist trap, sure. and I expected to get a bunch of people saying, I don't really mind, you know, just find God. Don't shove it in our face. That's pretty much what everyone said so far. Did anyone say not that? And that's just really the case. So this tells us two things. It tells us one, that the conservative position in terms of- Okay. Uh, so now it's now it's not anti-LGBT, it's anti like conservatives are too fine with shit. And it's like, people just want freedom, bro, to be whoever they are. Uh, rhetorical approach to LGBT issues is incorrect. It's misrepresented. No one has contempt in their heart for these people. No one has malice. No one has hatred. It is simply, hey, find God and also don't throw it in our children's faces, which is exactly what a decent person would predict. These are decent people. And here we are. You want to talk? What? <laughs> what? But, he, but he's literally saying that because he has malice and contempt for these people and hate, that he's not a decent person? Because he literally does have that. And he doesn't want them to have the, 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 the basic take that they do have. He was mad at the guy earlier for being like, I, you know, I don't really care what they do except for when they burn down property. And he got mad at that guy who's like, I can't believe this. They're showing children, gay people, and this guy's worried about property rights. He's not even consistent in this video. What? That's pretty weird. Okay. Talk to us. Oh, I mean anything. Literature, politics, art. All right. I'm a Republican. I will not get vaccinated. I refuse to get vaccinated. You're not going to infringe on my rights down here in Texas. Is how we do it? If y'all hungry, come eat. We'd love to hear. That's the whole thing, huh? Hear that. We just got done with, what's your name, by the way? I'm Cece. Cece, we just got done with Pride Month, right? Oh, okay. Pride Month. Gotcha. Well, judging by your tone, I feel like you have something to say. Give us your 30-second your take on, on Pride Month. I love God, I love Jesus, and I love God, Jesus. Um, it is what it is. I mean, if you choose to be a part of the LGBTQ, all for it, you know? That's just not something that I've personally find you know it's against my religion but all for it for anybody else i just not a fan <laughs> i've noticed hey, that girl. too i've noticed that as we've talked to different people around here everyone is very just like hey it's against my religion but do your own thing no one has the the hate in their heart that so many people ascribe to us simply for disagreeing with the narrative yeah. but that being said i have some photos i would like to show you <laughs> but he literally does have that he talks about all the time how much he doesn't like these people it's so weird Okay. Your initial reaction. I don't like him. I don't like what he posts. I think that it is just very disrespectful to any and everybody who does have a religion, you know, basis against that, I guess. Against what? Having sex with Satan in hell? But isn't... Wait, what? What are they talking about? What? I'm, a, I'm against gay people going to hell and fucking Satan. Like, what? <laughs> Okay, but isn't, that's like explicitly what you are for in your religious belief, I thought. I'm confused. And you'll notice too that that video was like number one trending on YouTube that was shown to probably tens of millions of children right. uh, around the world. What about this one? What's wrong? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even, this is just a very colorful display of stuff. So what's wrong with that? What is what is the objection to this? It's weird. You're like, ah, oh, that looks weird. 
Okay? <laughs> sure. That is, like, literally the worst thing I could say about this. Oh, that looks a little weird. You know what it also looks like? Interesting. And new. I've never seen anything like that before. So what? what is the... What are we against here? I can tell you right now a lot of the things that trend on social media based on, like... Oh, sorry, y'all. I just had a fly on my glasses. Based on everything that's trending on social media has to do with... I like the bigger picture, the deep state. I mean, there. Oh my fucking god, bro. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. So, so in this case, the deep state is the gays. The gays. The gays. Are we deep state chat? So aren't we supposed to get like cut get get like someone cut us a check or some shit? Like like when we do a bunch of you know the gay shit you know you're all gay and 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 I'm uh you know facilitating your gayness and I support you and so therefore I'm part of the deep state right so like when do we get checks? Can someone please tier three subscribe to me right now? Um, and by someone, I mean, uh, 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 you know, <laughs> you know, you know who you are, you know, that guy, you know, the guy, the old guy, the old Jewish guy, you know, the one, the one that has all the money and does all the stuff, you know, with the BLMs and the Antifas, you know, you're, you're out there. I know you're watching. You're always watching. You know who he is. Don't say his name. Don't say his name, chat. I don't want, I don't want John Doyle to be onto us. You know what I'm saying? The guy, the guy. Yeah, no, 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 don't say it. Don't say it. Don't try to guess it. You know the guy, the big man. Yeah, doing some, doing some deep state stuff. <laughs> A tier three hundred sub. Hell yeah, you know the guy. Yeah, yeah, you guys get it. They are putting things out on social media true. on what they want people to see, not based on what's actually happening. Like, have y'all heard anything about the big explosion 100 miles off the coast of Florida? Bellum Guardian, thanks for the 50 biddies. I'm George. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to say the guy. You're George who's soccer cow? No, 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 no. George Soros? I've never heard of that. Who's that? Don't know him. Don't know him. No. No. Government blew up 40,000 pounds of bombs in the ocean. Gulf of Mexico's on. S wait, 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 wait. The, the government. Okay. So the government blew up 40,000 pounds of bombs in the ocean. Sure. Fine. I, is she saying that that was the, the Gulf of Mexico fire thing? Was bombs? And then, and then, so forty thousand pounds of bombs, and that is the deep state gay agenda. Bombs, yup. It's on fire right now. The rig out there, it blew up. I mean, these are things that That's are bombs? seriously happening that are causing all these tropical storms to happen. That you're tropical. St Wait, what? You think bombs are causing tropical storms? Oh my god. Oh no, she needs to be kicked into the sea. Oh no. Just just kicked right into it. Yeah, no, there's nothing we can do with this one. Yeah, this one's this one's just right into the right into the ocean. Nothing to do. Just on one of those big bombs, I guess. We can call it Hurricane I don't know. She looks like a Sandy. I don't know her name. They're not hearing about. They're just talking about what they want you to to hear because they just want that division between the United States. Hold on, this this bitch has a butterfly tattoo, and that's just like the butterflies that were in the gay agenda. Uh, 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 Montero, Lil Nas X picture, it wasn't Montero, I guess. So, actually, deep state. Holy fucking shit, we we cracked it, chat. We fucking cracked it. Why do you think that they focus so much on those types of things and really just pushing that in people's faces pushing as opposed to, faces? as you alluded to, Bill Gates controlling the weather cycles? Bill Gates controlling the weather cycles? John, because please Because it stop. has to do with covering he's, things he's up. Trying to I mean, not, the government's behind... He's trying not to laugh, right? Like, things is, that he thinks she's a dum-dum, right? Nobody knows about He's, he's joking. What he thinks doing. she's they're stupid. 
putting things out there to hide the truth on what they're really doing because they don't want people involved. They don't want- You're literally just some waitress at a steak joint on your smoke break. What do you, you think you fucking cracked the government conspiracy starting hurricanes? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. If they're using bombs to make hurricanes in tropical storms, why did a tropical storm not arise out of that bomb? I don't understand. There was no tropical storm out of that. It was just a fireball vortex. So, what? It was just too deep? Okay, they just blew it up. To, it was a total accident. There we go. That's what it was. Accident. I want people to know they don't want anybody's opinion. They just want to go through with what they're doing. It's so true. I tend to reject the whole Disney love at first sight. Oh, I, I, I Is he not going to talk about how fucking bananas that lady was? Really just love this girl. But when she said deep state, I felt something. But I don't know. I'm not. Maybe I'll go back and I'm going to get a gum wrapper and just write, do you like me? Checkbox, yes. Checkbox, no. And I'll just, I'll leave it and maybe I'll circle back and then uh, we'll, we'll see. She might be the one, boys. Who knows? I could save her. Just kidding. Christ I already saved her. That's the metric. Thinking you can save a girl is the wrong approach. Only Christ can save her. And maybe if you're a good enough man, then he'll give her to you, which is epic. He'll give her to you? This is, this is John walking down the street, desperately wishing someone would touch his penis. I don't miss. I just don't miss. You know, last month... You don't miss? What do you mean you don't miss? You walked away with... Ha She's not gonna fuck you. What? Was... Uh... <laughs> Is this a valet? The match. March. March. Some, some poor valet. Okay. What? March? No, it's... June. Let's go. Do you know what June is? I uh, know. A month? It is a month. That's correct. Your, your score is neutral. June was Pride Month. Oh. What do, what do you think about Pride Month, big guy? It's all right. It's all right? You're neutral? Yeah, I guess. Are you gay? Nah, hell no. Nah. What? Dude, you picked the most insecure fucking guy ever. He's like 16. <laughs> hell no, nah, I'm not gay. This dude's thought about sucking dicks just like everybody else, okay? Just like everybody else. Hell, Hell no. Nah, Hell no, nah, not gay. <laughs> What's your... <laughs> you see your hair I trade off? Trailed off there? Not nah, gay. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not... I mean, are you... I mean, I like your shirt. Opinion John. on the whole thing, the way it's being celebrated in the media, it's being taught to children now in public school. What, what do you think about that? You're from Texas? Yeah. What do you think about that as a Texan? I really don't care for it. Do you mind if we show you some pictures and just get your, your immediate reaction? Yeah, hell no. Okay. okay. Hell no what? Got a hell no on that one. Second. That is tragic. One word. How that is tragic. This guy doesn't have any opinions. This guy doesn't have any fucking opinions. Are you kidding me? He's he's clearly succumbing to his peer pressure right now. If I walked up to this kid and debate bro him like this... He would fucking agree with me in two seconds because he's a beta. He's just a child right now. This guy doesn't have a fucking opinions about this. He knew what you wanted him to say. Like, what? I I would... I, this guy would agree with me that gays are just fine immediately if I walked out to him. Are you kidding me right now? How could you describe this picture? Tragic. tragic. Just yeah. tragic. Two tragics. <laughs> One word. He doesn't have content, bro. One word. Looks a lot like uh, uh, gay Aquaman. That's what I'm thinking. Again, gay Aquaman. I don't even know what to say to that. All right. At a kid's party? Yeah. Come on. What about... What about that? What is this? Lactatia and the diva is diva you could ever... Th is the diva is diva is diva you could ever think of? Ploopy? Huh. See, it's interesting. He laughed. I don't. What? 
interesting because for some reason as young men, we can't help but look at that and just think that's kind of silly. That's, that's a little bit silly. What if your son wanted to do... What if your son... Boy, I would really like to see a titty in real life, honestly. That. I mean, it is what it is, to be honest. It is what it is, to be honest. What does that mean? Why are you doing... There's no content here, John! Yeah. There's none! He has nothing for you! This is why most man on the street things are like four minutes, because there's only going to be a few times when you have an interaction worth keeping on. Oh, I don't know about all that. Yeah, I don't know about all that. He doesn't know about anything, dude. There's nothing here. There's literally no reason to be talking to this person. <laughs> all right, man. This is the worst. Okay, so what's wrong with that? Is he going to say like, oh, that's hot. I mean, gay. I don't know about all that either. I don't know about all that either. Why are you in front of this child? John, what do you think about that? Maybe break down. So I think that he basically represents the, the forgotten gamers of America, the average young man in this country who we don't really have a strong opinion against that type of stuff, but we just know that when it's shoved in our face, we can kind of look at it and be like, and I quote, nah, <laughs> about all that. It's just we, just, we just don't want to. And that's the problem. We were sold. What do you mean you just the problem? You're not part of it then. That's fine. Then don't be part of the thing. That's the end of it. That's the whole... It's the whole, all of it. No more, no more needs to be said. Hey, ha, ooh, whoa, whoa, we see a lot of, a lot of drag queen stuff. Oh, I don't know about all that. Okay, then. Then don't. That's fine. <laughs> are you gonna, are you gonna actively try to make legislation to prevent people from being able to do that? I don't know about all that. Like, okay, that's fine, too. I don't fucking care. If you're neutral, uh, what, what, what? What? There's nothing here. John just hasn't uploaded in, in like three, four weeks. And so he, he did this. He's like, I don't know. I did it. Might as well put it up on the internet. Nobody is fucking giving him any content besides the crazy girl. And she idea. was crazy. It was just private individuals in the privacy of their own home or whatever. But such the privacy of their own home. They can also do it outside. They can do it wherever <laughs> they are allowed to do it. It doesn't have to be in the privacy of anyone's home. What? No, you, you don't have to have a, pra a pride month behind closed doors. You get to do it wherever the fuck you want. To not be the case. And now we're at a point arriving very quickly where it's being pushed in the media, has been for decades, in public schools. And now you look at the rates, not coincidentally, of LGBT identification amongst the youngest generation, and it's skyrocketing. Skyrocketing because people are more comfortable, to be honest, with everybody. Like, I'm inundated in this shit, right? Like, every day, everybody I know pretty much is, is <laughs> like, that I regularly interact with uh, uh, outside of, like, my bro friends are, 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 are gay or trans or something, right? Like, they're in the LGBT community, most of them. Right, and even all my bro friends, all the dude bros I hang out with, I have a I have a, a long time uh, football chat where we play fantasy football together, and we're a bunch, we're literally a bunch of ex jock, <laughs> uh, burgeoning into middle age, like we're thirty somethings, twenty somethings, uh, 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 like men. Most of us, most of us have long since passed our athletic prime, and all of us are like really cool with everybody. We're just we're we're very far left. We're, we're like, yeah, fucking, who cares? Whatever. Uh, do what you want. I don't give a shit, dude. Like, like, why, why? And we, and obviously more than that, we support. You know what I mean? And several, uh, several, one, we have, do, we do have one person in chat who just came out as bi to us. And all of us were like, cool. So we're going to still make Italian jokes, though. And, um, because he's Italian. And, um, <laughs> uh, uh, and then one of them is dating a non binary person. I'm dating a bi person. Uh, uh, obviously, you know, you know, most of my history, best friends, trans, stuff like that. Like, like we, most people just are like, yeah, well, fucking do whatever you want. Freedom. It's be happy. I want you to be happy. That's it. That's like literally the end of it. If you are anti LGBT people, you're anti freedom. That's just all it is. If you want to be pro freedom, come on over to leftistville. Cause we got it. Okay. That's where we have it. Okay. All the freedom is held here. All of it. Buy Italian jokes? Uh, the buy jokes aren't that funny. You know? Who who you are attracted to is not that funny. Unless you're attracted to somebody weird. And then it's funny. 
he is attracted to one weird person. He has one weird friend. Uh, we don't know if that guy's bi, but uh, uh, he is a fucking weirdo. He gets drunk and goes up in trees and shit. Weird guy. Anytime that happens, we make jokes about it. And the response to this is, oh, it's because they've always been 20% gay. It's just because now it's an 20, accepting culture or gay. whatever. If that were true, it is. It literally true, is. you'd see the rates of self-identification increasing roughly proportionally amongst all generations. Because No, you wouldn't because then there were, there's – what are you talking about, John? This is I, you can tell he hasn't studied like fucking anything ever, right? He just ha he just hasn't. So sociologically speaking, uh, uh, you're going to have a, a situation where it, it was uncool, it was not accepted in boomer generations uh, uh, to be gay, right? This is just not happening. You do see a little bit, a small number of these people coming out at a later age, but most of them don't because uh, of several things. Number one, definitely is social group. Uh, issues because again it's not as accepted within boomers and if you come out to everybody your social group will, will vastly fluctuate and that's not comfortable for a lot of people who are set in their ways as someone in their 60s might be you also will have a situation where many of these people who are boomers still go to like churches and stuff which again is a, is a, is a sub facet of social upheaval due to coming out of course which is not a good thing for people. But because younger generations do not have that sort of set in stone, this is where I have settled in life sort of thing, they have the option, the social mobility and the like literal physical mobility to move around and find communities where they're accepted and to have friends wherever they're at. This is like obvious basic socio sociological like breakdown stuff of different groups and how it and how it works out. Like this is this is like it's so intuitive, I feel dumb for having to explain it to you. I feel like I'm preaching to the choir here, and you already know it, because it's just so obviously the answer, right? It's just always been that way. Uh, Gerald, thanks for following. A great example of this is uh, uh, the adoption of social media, another sociological phenomenon, a social phenomenon uh, that is happening uh, in the country. Uh, you see uh, uh, lower levels of usage uh, the older someone gets and higher levels of usage the younger someone gets because, of course, it is more socially acceptable in these various groups, depending on your age group, to engage in such activities. I mean, obviously, right? Texting is another example, like proficiency at texting and the, the the style of texting and everything like that. Sending emails, like, you know, all of these things. It's very simple shit, dude. Really basic stuff. Did I say thank you for following, Gerald? Thank you. Either way. Everyone would be living in this culture. Everyone would be like, oh, okay, we can all come out now. That's not true. It's only in the younger generations is it skyrocketing, is it going up. All the other generations is staying about the same in terms of overall. It's not. It's going up in every generation. Uh, it's just not going up as much as you get older. You know what I mean? Grandma is on Facebook, of course, but Facebook is like one of those things that came out in the early 2000s, and they were not as old as they are now in the early 2000s. That was tw almost 20 years ago. It was 15 years ago, roughly, that Facebook like really became a thing, you know, when they were 45 when that came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that you'll see the older generations do something like a Facebook. You don't see them on Twitter very often. You know what I'm saying? So... It just has to. It just has to go with, uh, uh, you know, where, where, where. I guess when you were born and where it is. And and he's gonna lose. I mean, there's no, there's not really a lot of uh, of, of danger in John Doyle's point of view getting any fucking traction whatsoever. Um, uh, MySpace, Facebook, 2008 or so. No, yeah, exactly. About 15 years ago, and uh, uh, like 2006 somewhere in there. But we also had AOL Instant Messenger, and I remember like. My dad, specifically, being very, very worried about talking to a, a random person on the internet. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, no, they're all going to be pedophiles. And it's like, uh, ain't nobody want to fuck this right now, pops. I don't even have a camera phone. Um, and, yeah, I said camera phone. That's how old I am. They weren't even things yet. Uh, Bellow makes the 50 biddies. Not to get dark, but I'd imagine a really depressing number of LGBT people from the older generation aren't alive now, either due to bigotry or self-harm after being stuck closeted for so long. I, I would say that there's probably, um, that's certainly a thing, um, where there, there's definitely going to be a higher rate of people in, at that, uh, advanced age that, uh, would not, in fact, be alive anymore. Um, either do or secondarily do to uh, their uh, uh, orientation or their gender uh, not conforming to whatever someone that age would, would typically accept, you know? 
proportion. We also know that there's no biological factor in what manifests this other than perhaps prenatal hormone exposure, but science has not found what's referred to as the gay gene. It doesn't have to, I, this is interesting. I, I don't understand why, the AIDS epidemic, obviously, yeah. I, I, I don't understand why, why a gay gene has to exist, like, in something like sexuality? Because it, it, it implies, obviously, that being only sexually attracted to a specific type of person is, like, it's so, like, like that is so normal that to not feel that attraction would have to be something so drastic as to, like, literally it has to show up in your DNA. When there's lots of stuff that don't show up in our DNA about how we think about stuff. You know what I mean? Like, there's not, there's not like, there's not like a gene for like, for like all sorts of, for not liking broccoli. You know what I mean? For not, for not, for being a cat person instead of a dog person. You know what I mean? Like, there's not genes for that. It's social. A lot of it's going to be social. A lot of it's going to be due to stigma, right? Because I, I think, I think for me especially, um, I'm attracted to, to, to femme people, uh, but more and more, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's a situation where, um, like, like, as you, as you interact with trans people and stuff, like, um, I don't know, it, there used to be, how do I explain this? When, when, when I was a kid, I guess, when trans people were first, like, really exposed to me, um, and I promise I'll read your bidding messages, the two of you just did that, um, when I was a kid and trans people were exposed to me, I, it was always like, uh, like Tootsie type stuff, like Dustin Hoffman in a, in wearing girl things. And it's like, that's a, that's like a, that's a person that has like masculine features. Right. And so, so, and, and, and I watched a thing with Sarah the other day that really illuminated a lot of this is probably why, like, um, um, and you should watch, uh, Disclosure. It's a, Net, it's a Netflix documentary about, uh, trans people in media and stuff. And I learned a lot from it. Um, just the way that trans people were depicted, um, uh, and not to get too dark, uh, but like, um, an, a, a very typical reaction to seeing a trans person or the reveal in a piece of media for a trans person to exist was like literal throwing up. The Crying Game uh, 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 and obviously Ace Ventura are the big ones that, that come to mind uh, in my development. But um, uh, And so there was a little bit for a while where, where you know, as someone who, who hadn't engaged in the conversation, we go, oh... And you just internalize that. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm not supposed to be attracted to that person. I'm definitely attracted to trans women all the time, whether they have dicks or not. You know what I mean? Like, it has, if they're feminine looking, I tend to be attracted to that person in some way at, at any level, right? Like, there, you know, there's differences between people. There's some extremely hot trans people. And you're like, god damn, well, look at that. Look at that. Look at that delicious slurp of a person. And then there's some people where you're just like, I'm not attracted to that person. But it's not necessarily because they're not trans. I'm not attracted to lots of cis people too, you know what I mean? And so, like, like breaking down that initial stigma was a thing that I had to go through as, like, a teenager and into my 20s when you when you finally start to learn about it. Like, coming out of the 90s and into the 2000s and stuff, um, you start to learn about it. And then, obviously, in the last, like, 10 years, it's been um, uh, very illuminating for a lot of people. Um, but I can see a lot of people getting getting hung up early on in that and being like, yeah, it's gay to like trans people. But like, but like, I don't know, man. It's, it's to the point where, where like, it's so, it's so normalized. I'm wondering if I was born today, what I would look like 30 years from now, as far as my sexuality is concerned, because, because I'm wondering how much I internalized enough of that to like genuinely affect my sexuality to where it's like kind of this immutable I'm only attracted to femme people you know what I mean so I don't know how much of that that is it'd be interesting to see to like to like split off a timeline and just to see what would happen if you had like more more open parents and had had more of this dialogue happening as you developed because it's very spectrumy it seems to move for a lot of people even if it stays roughly the same even if like the thesis of your sexuality is the same it seems like it seems like it broadens 
uh, over time if you are a person that is willing to just be like open with yourself. You know what I mean? Um, the hyper kid with 100 bitties. Uh, when I was 15 and my dad was 41, I told him over Skype that I was bi, and he said, I'm the same way. Oh, that's fucking cute. I'm very blessed, but I do believe anyone can find family uh, that supports them, blood or not. That's amazing, Hyper Kid. I didn't. Uh, that's a that's a really cool story. Um, and then uh, Mark is offline with fifty bitties. Uh, there's a gene for not liking cilantro. Just saying. Well, sure there is. Uh, <laughs> some of that stuff happens. Marvel's What If actual Jake edition. Yeah, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, like I I I think um, Jake wants to create a variant. A lot of Marvel people in here right now. Uh, it's a great document documentary, and I think I think all of you should watch it. It's really great. But um. I don't know. I just think it's. I just think it's incredibly ignorant for John, who's this is the video. <laughs> I think it's incredibly ignorant for John, obviously, to say that like people are just turning gay because they saw someone gay, right? No, I think it's a developmental thing. They they were predisposed to to probably leaning away based on their inherent sexuality. Most people are, but then there's this social aspect of like well you're not allowed to and during your your sexual sort of sort of we'll call it everyone's sexual awakening period that sort of um well not everyone but you know what i mean uh most people's sexual awakening period which is when you're sort of burgeoning into puberty and then experiencing that if it was allowed to find like masculine people attractive for for a dude when i was growing up i don't know that i I, because i don't find attraction to masculinity uh, at least not sexual attraction. Obviously, I find I find I can identify. You're a good looking guy. Um, I can't identify like I want to uh, bang, on, but Cook like on. I'm wondering. I'm wondering how that changed with people at all. I think that'd be fascinating. Thander, thanks for the follow. Daylight reckoning, thanks for the 19 months. Um, and for many of you uh, who are not straight uh, or or rather not even just gay, M- many of you that, that, are, that are bi, pan, etc., something adjacent to that, or, or even ace, many of you may think, hmm, that's a little weird. I don't I don't identify with that feeling. That's interesting. Um, for sharing cute family, supporting LGBTQ plus stories, the counter, uh, to counter the homophobia, says Mark, uh, I came out to my great-grandmother, who's 100 years old as, as of June. She immediately switched over to my new name and pronouns. That's fucking cute! That's cute. Congrats, Mark. Uh, that's why I think most people are actually pan. I think pan is probably going to be, I don't know about most people. Um, cause it does make sense just from an evolutionary perspective that we would be predisposed to seek sexual relationships with somebody that we could procreate with. Right. Excuse me. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised to find a lot of people are pan like, like, or bi or whatever adjacent, um, as we sort of de- regulate how people deal with sex. Uh, uh, Darth Moonbear, thanks for giving to Zoe Cakes. Uh, Terenzical, thanks for following. Um, I think I think it'd just be a lot higher. I think half of all people are in the LGBTQ community by, I don't know, by the time I'm 50. Maybe 60. I don't know. Like, identify as such. Because it's just as like, yeah, I mean, this is pretty normal. And then by then, I don't, if it's like half, I don't know if we'll have like this anymore, the way that we have it. Like, I think it'll just be like, yeah, everyone's whatever you got going on. And like Pride Month might not even be necessarily a thing, which would be great. Because if we don't even need it anymore, you know what I mean? We might still do it, but yeah. I think, I think a lot of people are, uh, are definitely a little, a little, a little non cis or non het or both. Uh, Paladin Laws, thanks for the 22 months, and then I'll get back to the video. I didn't really accept my bisexuality until my mid-20s. I grew up in a small area in the 90s. Calling people gay was an insult was common. I agree, as was the F word. We didn't use that as much, but it definitely happened. Um, as the times changed, I realized people would be more comfy with me, so I opened up. Yeah, exactly. Of course. I feel like no one is 100% straight or 100% gay, I guess. Uh, I mean, if I'm not 100%, I'm pretty close. Which is kind of a bummer, but... I've, I've talked about this before. I've lamented about my lack of mask enjoyment, but um, yeah. I mean, have you seen have you seen ladies though? Oof, good looking. Decades of well, just feminine general research, millions and millions in grants and funding, and they haven't found it. Come on, find the gay gene. Put it right here. Put it right here. You can't do it. Put the gay. Gene. Somebody make an argument from environmentalism on this fool for me. What? 
I don't understand. Oh, hi, you're back. Right about now. No, no, no. Can you play, please? No. <laughs> All right, what are your guys' names? I'm Ella. CJ. All right, Ella and CJ. Look at the way he's prowling through, asserting himself. <laughs> All right, what are your guys' names? I'm Ella. CJ. All right, Ella and CJ. Do you know what uh, month it was last month? Pride month. <laughs> he knows. Look at this guy. He's ahead of the curve. What are your thoughts on Pride Month, CJ? Um, I mean, good they have, like, it's good they celebrated, but, I mean... I don't know, I kind of wish there was a month for, like, soldiers and stuff like that. Oh, a month for soldiers. You know how you're born a soldier? You're just like, man, there's so many people that, like, that, like, oh, shit on me because I'm a soldier. I was just born this way, dude. <laughs> This is what people that accept me for who I am and who I am as a soldier, okay? I'm just a soldier. I'm just a day. Totally true. Did you serve or do you have family that served? My grandpa did in Vietnam. Okay, okay. What about you? Yes, my grandpa is also in the army and all that, so. I'm not going to let you dodge it. What's your opinion on Pride Month? You know. Go on. Good for them, right? Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> I mean, I have nothing to relate to it, so it's them. I'm going to respect it. Are you telling me you see a voluptuous mommy walking down the street and you're not like, <laughs> can't relate, dude. Cannot relate. But okay. not my thing. Do you mind if we show you some photographs and just oh, get your, yeah. your first reaction? All right. I like the artisticness. The artisticness. Jesus Christ. We are just swimming in brain cells right now. That's... Oh, I like it. <laughs> That's a, every woman that we show that to is like, wow, their makeup is so, like, well done. <laughs> okay, continue, Blake. Did you see that music video? <laughs> no, wasn't yeah. he, like, going down the pole? <laughs> yes, he, he, was, he was grinding on Satan. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, that's just not my taste. But. <laughs> what do you think about how that's being mass marketed to children? Is mass mar what is this mass marketing to children shtick he's doing? Who's marketing to children about this? He put out a music video, just in general. He didn't go like, hey, kids, you want to see me fuck Satan? Like, nobody said that. I think it's... Uh, it I'd, depends. I'd like it to be, like, later on, so, like... He did He did use they, them uh, pronouns for, uh, 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 <laughs> Lil Nas, which is weird, but I guess that's, that's kind of like that. I don't know. Because it's, it's weird to grow up. To, like you can grow up to learn a certain way, but yeah, I'd rather that be like you figure that out on your like on your own later on in life. What do you think about the child uh, drag queen story hours at the public libraries? Have you seen those? I have not. So no. literally, what it is is they'll bring in drag queens at taxpayer funded libraries and taxpayer funded libraries. They'll have them read stories to children and they'll teach them how to twerk and they'll do all sorts of like seductive. Teach them how to twerk and do seductive stuff. This is. <laughs> dances yeah, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't, I like, don't that. like that I feel like again I mean, yeah, learn no. later on <laughs> make your own decisions when you're older I agree you should at least wait until you're 18 to be grinding oh, on Lucifer yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, any, yeah, no. yeah, you should you should wait until you're 16 to grind upon Lucifer chat did I say 16 on accident did I say 18 or 16 just now I did say 18 well now you said 16 well fuck I think you said 16? I think I just said 16. Well, that's when you can drive. So, if you can drive a car, you can drive Satan's dick. That's true. That's actually true. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. any minor grinding on Lucifer is bad parenting. But if you're 20, sure. Okay, yeah, you're yeah, on your own. You're an yeah. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> if you were king... Lil Nas is 20. Isn't he? 22? Somewhere in there? Yeah. For a day. And you could do one thing. What would you do? Um, oh my god. Queen for a day. I apologize. Uh, that's all right. You know what? That doesn't bother me. You can call me a king if you want. You well, can call nowadays, me when you want. misgender people, it might be a hate crime. I know where your heart is coming from, and you uh -huh. didn't do it maliciously. What does he think misgendering is? What? If I said that to a trans person, if I said to Bellum, what if you could be... Well, no, you're a trans man. Shit. 
Like so you're, you're terrible examples. You're big chat energies. Who's a who's a who's a lady in here? Uh, uh, which one of you wants to be my guinea pig? Because it's a very common expression. Okay, you're a lady, porcelain giant, whatever. You're my guinea pig. If I said, "Do you want to be king for a day?" You would be like, "Oh fuck, I got I just got misgendered. I just got fucking misgendered." Like really? King for a day? Like what? It's like a, such a normal. I don't know. It's just fucking weird, man. It's so weird to be like pretend woke when he does that kind of shit. They do this kind of stuff all the time, and then they misrepresent like what even the misgendering part is. It's like if you accidentally get it wrong. Like if I okay, okay. So if I identify as a woman, right, and I say I use she/her pronouns, but I like to have my beard. I am aware that that is an atypical representation of someone using feminine pronouns. I'm aware of it. I would also be aware if, like, I was I was just now coming out and I realized, because, again, being trans, you're pretty hyper-realizing, you know, what you look like and how that manifests, and there's obviously an incongruence here. I'm talking binary trans people right now, uh, although some non-binary trans people the feel the same way. Uh, Lumi Roo is a great example. Uh, um, uh, uh, they uh, were AFAB and, and uh, got top surgery but identify as non-binary. At least last I checked, that could change. Um, but uh, but anyway, stuff. So so I just don't understand. Like like if if you if you clock me basically is the idea. And most trans people you get clocked sometimes, and that sucks. But like if someone is like just genuinely just makes a mistake, like maybe you're in a hoodie and jeans, and so like hello sir, and they're like uh, oh it's ma'am. You go, oh, fuck, I'm sorry, dude. And like that's, that's like the whole thing. It's like the whole fucking interaction is just like, oh, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Cool. I'll just try to, I'll just try to rep, you know, uh, make sure that you're, you're feeling comfortable. That's like literally all that happens. I, if you ever misgender somebody, and I do it from time to time. We got lots of people in here. And I might use, like I say dude and bro fucking constantly because I, uh, I am both a dude and a bro. I'm a dude bro and a himbo. And I say it to everybody. But sometimes, sometimes there'll be somebody who's like, please don't call me dude or bro or whatever. And I'll be like, okay, if I remember, I'll try to. I'll try to remember and do that for you. And I, I try. I will definitely forget and fuck it up, but I will try. Mostly because I have a terrible bad memory for stuff. <sighs> a, lot of, a lot of hiccups. Uh... QB Rad, thanks for the follow, and Lovely Bell, thanks for the follow. Her ramble was just a gorilla. When trans women accidentally misgendered Lumi twice, I felt so bad. Right, and like, like I get it though, right? Because, um, you know, it just happens. We we have like a knee jerk sort of societal reaction to seeing someone that might be mask or femme or whatever, and just being like, oh, that is a boy, that is a girl, that is a man, that is a woman, it's whatever, and it's fine if you just fuck it up and they correct you. That's it. Uh, professional failure. Th thank failure. Professional failure. Thank you for following, because apparently we can't say the odds anymore. So, why would it insult me? I'm confident in my humanity, my sexuality, who I am, and if you misjudge me, then that's not on me, that's on you. And I'm not going to be mad at you for that. Unless you could get a book deal, and you can go on uh, CNN, and you can get all sorts of publicity, but I can tell that that doesn't matter to you. These earthly pleasures are not of your direct concern. I respect that. No. But queen for a day, your one policy. Oh my gosh, I just wish that people would love God and know God better. Uh, we all have a higher... That's your policy? To love God? Oh, well, now you're a fascist. Like, you can't. That's, that's not a policy that you can do. Your power, we all come from someplace higher. Embrace that and find out what your purpose in life is. And your higher power, you have a, a reason. Every day we get up and put our feet on the floor and get out of bed and take a breath. That means our job's not done yet. So true. What would you... Like, like why not just... <laughs> Such a weird... Okay. You say, if I called you homophobic... <laughs> You would laugh. That's the perfect yeah. reaction. <laughs> Professional failure. You did not. I'm just dumb. I would laugh. Just laugh. Just no. No, you're the weird one. I'm not weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. He's a nice guy and everything. He dresses very well. But uh, what can I say? The young Texan blonde women, they just, they can't help but laugh around. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's an He's such a fucking weirdo. What is, what? That's so weird. Why is I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about his personality that that 
he interacted with the woman and 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 there was like a positive response, and now he thinks that she wants to like fuck him. Like this is you're telling on yourself, guy. It's so weird, because <sighs> an infectious personality. They love homophobia. What can I say? Oh hi, didn't see you there. Thanks. For it's the second time he's done this exact. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Thing. Will Witt literally did this. What yesterday, the day before? We watched trash. Like, what is it with these people? For joining us on our journey in Prolet the stockyards. Pro Pro where we asked some that's questions. Fun. We had some conversations. We made some friends. We fell in love, and we learned to be reborn all in under an hour. What does this tell us? I don't know, but I'm like done with the video. Are you guys done with the video? I'm done with the video. I'm done. This is that's the end of the video. Uh, so John Doyle is is a dumb dumb loser baby boy. That's it. That's the whole thing. That was that wasn't content, John. That wasn't content. I don't know. Like, if I'm a regular viewer of you, I don't think I enjoy that. That didn't offer, like, anything to anybody. You didn't even get any, like, interesting people. The most interesting person on there was absolutely crazy. And she was a waitress at a tiny steakhouse. Please. Please, for the love of God, can we do a little bit better?